Holy hell, ladies and gentlemen. She freaking came today. Pegasus 2 R4. Here at the K2D4 network, upgrading was time. Need more hard drive space? When you're running a network like this, it's time to take it to the next level. Let's crack this baby open and see what she looks like. I needed space like bad. I was running out. I got a three terabyte external. Just not enough anymore. And it's like, you really got to keep up with the times. I did a lot of research looking through and I wanted to future proof myself. So this one had Thunderbolt 2. Better than Thunderbolt 1, right? I ordered this not that long ago, like, like shipped in like two days. So real quick and fast. It wasn't cheap, let me tell you. I was debating between the R4 or the R6 and I just said the hell with it and got the R4. If I need to upgrade the drives, then I can. You just don't want to overdo it. You know, it's a lot of money. As we can see right here, we got Pegasus 2 R4, eight terabyte. Four hard drives at two terabyte a piece, SATA RAID. One drive goes down, swap it out, it'll rebuild itself, no problem. So yeah, I'm not gonna get the full eight terabytes, probably get like five, six maybe. Here we go, are we ready for this? Christmas all over again. Four bay attached storage with Thunderbolt 2. And immediately right away, it's obviously Apple endorsed. They got the Mac Pro on there. I don't have a Mac Pro myself, but someday you can dream, right? And they got the nice daisy chain. Let's take this bitch out of the package, shall we? Looks like the Thunderbolt cable. So it's very important, your Pegasus 2 subsystem is pre-configured from the factory with RAID 5. And that's where I shall keep it. That takes several hours to build. This is important. Follow instructions to download, well, for Windows drivers only. Fuck Windows. Pull this bitch out. Can you feel the tension building? that baby on the back of course we got the two Thunderbolt 2 spots I'll be able to daisy chain my current hard drive I have uh, a secondary monitor and that's taking the other Thunderbolt spot check out this bitch huh Ooh, pulls out nice It's a Toshiba drive, two terabyte. Stick that bitch in there. Really does look nice though. That's, looks like it'll be a pretty good looking piece of equipment on the desktop there. Well, let's plug this bitch in and see what we got, huh? So I'll stick that in. And we need a power cable, which is right here. Your standard PC power cable. All right, I plugged in the Thunderbolt cable. I plan on plugging my other hard drive in there. I got the, uh, the Kinect controller USB 3 to Thunderbolt. Now hopefully I can get a little more speed out of it. We'll see what happens. So we'll go ahead and uh, Plug the cable in here. Just like that. That's where you say step aside, Western Digital. There's a new boy in town. I'll go ahead and plug her in. Got her there. Ooh, we got Christmas lights already. And we can see it shows up as promised Pegasus. 
All right, we got it right here. It's just flashing. And right off the bat, it says six terabyte. Um, here we got a README. It's definitely kind of loud with the fans. We got the utility DMG on here. Let's go ahead and unpackage that. Make life easy, huh? Open up the promise utility. Oh, here we go. Background activities are running, which is what? This is good, we can see status. Looks like I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research and try and figure out what the hell I'm looking at, but it looks like it's definitely building itself or whatever the hell it's doing. We got the, tells you which drive, the bay, model number, so you know exactly. This is nice. So I'll let this build, so far so good. But anyway, let me, let me discuss why I wanted this. I'm using Final Cut for my editing, and that sure uses a lot of space real quick. So uh, hopefully this does the trick, and it lasts me a while. What I'll probably do is when I'm running projects, whatever, I'll archive them and clean them off. Yeah, 2%. All right, we're going up. This is good. Yeah, I'll let this run, and I guess I said it takes several hours or whatever. All right, the Pegasus has finished sinking, and it took from 1.30 to 6 o'clock, so we're looking about roughly five and a half hours. It blew my fucking mind here. Let's bring up Black Magic and see how fast this is. Target my drive. Promise Pegasus. Start. Look at that. Speed. That's insane. This is through Thunderbolt 1 on a 2011 iMac. Let's target my three terabyte again, because I got, I daisy chained my three terabyte into the back of the Pegasus here. Let's test the speed on that now. Look at that. I'm getting better than I was when it was directly into the iMac. I was only getting 70. Now I'm pushing 120. My SSD on my iMac, I get 140, pushing 150 megabytes per second. I guess read is a little bit better. My external Pegasus is frickin' faster than my internal SSD. Isn't that fucking crazy? I bet you projects in Final Cut just, just frickin' fly. And so, spot on the Mac sidebar right here we're gonna customize this need to find that right font quickly without all the bullshit include lyric header that's your song title and your artist click on go and you're gonna want to hold the option key down quick and easy gotta love it my SSD was pretty fucking small we got a nice custom field over here to enter what we need take a look at this very helpful, use it to your advantage. Let's go into my music, open it up. This is the list of all the apps. Let's keep it basic and simple so you understand the concept. Do a control D and you can delete the forward. You gotta get shit done, you gotta get it done in a pinch. I actually did this with my Final Cut Pro 10 libraries. Mind blown. Click and drag for what you want. Like, very fucking powerful tool. And of course, everybody's drunk and they're not paying attention to you, and well, that's a fucking hassle. There you go. Quick, easy tip. Make your Mac great for you. And thank you for watching Dan and Mac.